I quit. We've all heard the cliches that you should live your life to the fullest, work hard and you'll be rewarded, and encouraged to write your own story. But I think something gets overlooked or maybe misunderstood in that. You see, for years, I focused on writing my own story, but as I had all these big ideas, plans of who I wanted to become and things that I wanted to do, I watched other people actually do them. See, I played the game. I, I tried in school, or at least tried hard enough. I took out student loans because we're told that education is an investment, and who knows, maybe it is, but that's a story for another time. I did the internships, I networked, and eventually I landed that six-figure job that everyone so desperately wants. But I wasn't doing the things that I had hoped to do. I wasn't becoming who I wanted to become, and I wasn't having the impact that I wanted to have. I wasn't happy. See, here I was thinking that I was writing my own story, and I guess I was, but there was a problem. My story was fictional. It wasn't real. And that's where this misunderstanding comes in. See, when we think of writing our own story, it, it shouldn't be fictional. Writing a fictional story for our lives just means that we have dreams that are never reached. It means ideas aren't explored or acted upon, hopes that never come to fruition. It means never becoming the person that we want to become. And it's us thinking that we'll make an impact when in reality, it'll never be seen by anybody else. We won't have that impact or change the world because it's all just an idea in our own mind. I was stuck in this cycle of focusing on things that didn't really matter, like the six-figure job that was really just giving me an excuse to put off the things that I actually want to do and become the person that I want to be. The story I was writing wasn't non-fictional. It was a fairy tale. So I quit. Now, you might think I'm crazy for quitting, and hey, I can't blame you. I don't have an income, I certainly don't have all the answers, and I don't have another job lined up, nor will I be looking for one. But what I do have is the prologue to my non-fictional story. Guys, the content on this channel is going to change quite a bit moving forward, and I'm really excited for it. I'm going to show you how doing just a few simple things with your money can give you the financial freedom to give you the opportunity to take a leap of faith and write your own non-fictional story like I'm doing. And if you're wondering what my story will look like, let's just say it's safe to assume there's going to be a lot of travel involved, and I'm going to share even more details next week, and again, I can't wait to share them with you. The reality is, I don't know where this journey will take me. I don't know what I'll accomplish, if anything, and I don't know who I'll become. What I know is this, I'm done writing that fictional story, and I'm really glad that you're coming along for the journey. Anyone have any advice for chapter one? Well, that was dramatic, wasn't it? Don't worry, all the future videos are gonna have the typical positive vibes that this channel tries to have, so don't worry about that. And as a thank you for watching all the way to this point in the video, and because I know you already hit that like button, I wanted to reward you and say thank you with giving you one more piece of information that everybody who already clicked off doesn't get. So you're getting this information a little bit early. This will be the video next week, so tune in for more information, but uh, here it comes. We're moving. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>